this and they don't want to give that out. You like to say that they're running under Prime's authority. Can they go ahead and take those trucks and get their own authority? Can they take those trucks and go lease onto somebody else's authority? Can they go reach out to a broker, use load boards to book their own freight, or only haul Prime's cheap shit? If you can't do any of those things, you're not a business owner. You're what's called an indentured servant. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. How many how many children's dads do you have? Just one? I got six, Kendra. I gave every man I loved a baby. Why would anybody do a Prime Inc. lease? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. So those Prime fleet owners, how much are they paying their company drivers? Or is that just some secret they keep? Because that's how they run their business and they don't want to give that out. You like to say that they're running under Prime's authority. Can they go ahead and take those trucks and get their own authority? Can they take those trucks and go lease onto somebody else's authority? Can they go reach out to a broker, use load boards to book their own freight, or only haul Prime's cheap shit? If you can't do any of those things, you're not a business owner. You're what's called an indentured servant. You see, Prime is not in really the trucking business. They're in the fucking asset business with scams like that. what they do with lease purchasing. And you know full well it's a scam because they try to sell it to people who had just gotten their CDLs. I can't name one other industry you could just walk in and start a business with zero money down. On top of that, Prime is such a shitty fucking company that they will actually put new students in the same trucks as a lease purchase operator. That just goes to show you how much Prime is really investing in fucking drivers. And if we really want to get technical on the business side of things, Come tax season, who's able to claim that truck as a depreciating asset? Man, guys, what do you guys think? What's you guys' thoughts on this? I really, <laughs> I, 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 I think this young man has some really, really good points, especially on the part where Prime likes to entice new drivers into their lease op program versus being a, a company driver because if you come in as a company driver you'll get one of them bs trucks i think it's like a lightweight truck or something like that and then your cent per mile will be anywhere between 45 and 60 cent i guess don't quote me on that i don't know i'm just saying versus being the lease driver you can get anywhere between a dollar to a, a dollar ten cent you can outfit your truck with graphics. You'll get the bigger, you'll get the bigger size trucks. You'll be able to bring any age kids. So the offer or the enticement to be a lease driver will prime outweighs being a company driver. Now, sometimes these guys get the big eyes and they see that and they be like yo sign me up i'm with it i want to make more money i want to bring my kids I, I want the bigger size comfortable truck i want my truck to be decked out and everything so yeah sign me up but as soon as that person gets in trouble it's all over it's all over now are you just like the young man said are you able to uh pick your own loads no why because prime has their own dispatchers for your loads now they'll tell you hey no problem what you can do is you can choose if you don't want to go up in the northeast we'll scratch that off you don't want to go in the south we'll scratch that off we'll we'll pick out three options for you and you can choose which one you want can you do your own home time yes as a company driver no but as your home time yes you get to go home anytime you want you tell the dispatcher hey i want to go home today i'm sure they'll get you home today but as a company driver you tell them that you got to get home today <sighs> well we already got you on this load we're going to need you to drop that load off and then we'll work on getting you down to where you stay at so you can get home hmm so again this driver he, he really does 
have some some valid points on Prime Inc.'s lease out. But let's see what an actual driver has to say about Prime Inc. lease op because he's a lease op himself. Hey, I work at Prime too. Let me break it down for you real quick. Why would anybody do that lease BS program they've got? Okay, there's a couple of things to consider. First and foremost, not everybody has fifteen, twenty thousand, thirty thousand, forty thousand dollars to start with to buy a truck and become a true owner operator when they start out. People who buy their own truck and go straight into owner operating can sometimes be negatively affected by that because if there's a problem with the truck guess who that's on that's on you a lot of owner operators go bankrupt within the first year when something like this happens whereas a lease operator starts off with the truck that it's almost always new or really close to being new and 100 percent of the time at least at prime is under warranty plus let's say your engine blows out a month after you start off and you don't have the money to fix it well not only is that covered under warranty, but anything that's not covered under warranty, Prime will work with you so that you can put it on a payment plan and pay that back as opposed to having to fork out whatever amount of money that would cost you normally. Us lease operators also get breakdown pay. So if your truck is in the shop for more than a certain amount of time, I believe it's two days, you start making a certain amount of money per day that the truck is broken down. This helps you cover your cost for the truck payment. There's also the tire fund. So Prime takes a little bit of that money that you make and puts it into a tire fund for you. So that whenever you, whenever you do have tire issues, it can come out of the tire fund. And if your tire fund goes negative, that money gets replaced and reimbursed at the same rate that it was before. So you could have a negative tire fund and still make a good paycheck because the only money that's going into that tire fund would have been the amount of money that would have gone in normally, even though it's negative. Being a lease operator also helps you get your feet wet into what the trucking industry is actually like without having as much of the liability as if you went out and bought your own truck and started running around and trying to be successful in the spot market but and i can't emphasize this enough the most important reason why people do the lease purchase program at prime or whatever company they choose although i would highly recommend prime is the fact that i do what i want so this young man says, uh, <laughs> let me break it down for you, you know, because if you thinking about going owner operator right out the gate, you know, it, it, it you, you could be affected negative by it. But can you be negatively affected by lease op if you if you don't know how to do it right? I'm just asking. I'm 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 just asking. I hey I, I don't know how it works. If it works over there, it works over there. You got some successful uh uh lease op guys that kind of converted over into owner operating successfully with Prime. But then you have a whole lot of drivers that has failed at it too. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean if you want to come in on the lease side to understand how to operate a truck and the business side of things maybe that's a good uh step into you know you step in you want to be an owner operator but you don't want to you you don't want the the problems that owner operator has you know because everything with the truck is your problem being an owner operator from the top, bottom, under, back, front, everything. That is your problem. Truck breaks down, you are gonna have to get it fixed. While it's getting fixed, if it's your only truck, you still gotta, still gotta get out there and, and, and trying to get that money coming in. So while your truck is down, what you gonna do? Now you gotta, you gotta rent a truck while your truck is getting fixed that's money coming out then once you get finished renting the truck you gotta put it back get back in your truck now you gotta recoup 
the money that you put into the rental truck, right? But being a lease op on the lease side, you you really don't have all them problems, right? I mean, you know, Prime will take care of the truck if it's up under warranty, and then they'll just, you know, nickel and dime you every week just to pay it back, you know, with the, the, the quote-unquote maintenance fund. You know that thing that you that that they take money out of your settlement every week to go into a maintenance fund a maintenance maintenance fund just in case your truck breaks down and everything yeah yeah prime will handle all of that and if you don't have enough in the maintenance fund prime will still take care of the truck but they still going to come to recoup that money that they pay so I, I would suggest, right, I would suggest to, if you want to go lease or if you want to come and be an owner-operator, I, I would suggest to go lease, you know, sort of like mess up somebody else's truck so you can learn everything so that when you get your own truck, you will, you will automatically know right off the rip if anything goes wrong with it you know what to do exactly because it happened to you in that lease truck right now let me know in the comments below is going lease with a mega carrier is a good idea or going lease with a black ops company is that a better idea or should you just be a company driver for maybe about a couple of years stack your money up and then go and and lease purchase your truck from a dealership. Let me know in the comments below. My radio, believe me, I like